Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Today I thought I would jump into my Stash Invest portfolio to show you guys the updated performance after purchasing all 36 investment options. As you guys know, I put an extra $1,000 into the portfolio and I have bought all of the 36 investment options that are available, including the one stock, Berkshire Hathaway Class B stock, and then all of the other exchange traded funds or ETFs that the stash that the uh, stash invest application has available you can see up top there the total return percentage so far is 1.06 percent the total dollar amount return is eleven dollars and fifty nine cents you can see on the left there a little bit of discrepancy between the total return value as well as the portfolio value i initially put one thousand one hundred dollars in and the difference between the eleven dollars fifty nine cents and the six dollars and fifty nine since profit you see in the portfolio value is because of the fees that have been subtracted from the portfolio. So as you guys know, one of the downsides of this particular application, unlike Robinhood, is that it does charge a fee, rather nominal fee, a dollar per month for balances less than $5,000. But if you have a very small portfolio, that is quite a large percentage, especially if you tally that up over the entire year. That's $12 per year. And if your portfolio is only a couple hundred dollars, that's a large, large percentage. Uh, as we kind of scroll through the portfolio, you can see on the right the amount of money I have invested in each particular uh, stock or ETF. Again, one stock, 35 ETFs, and you can see the percent return below that as well. And you can see for the, mo for the most part, the returns are in the 1 to 3% range. You can see clean and green there and the negative 1.51%. One Otherwise, the uh, delicious dividends, 297 And as I scroll down here, you can See, a few investments have done well. Some investments have not done well. Moderate mix, robots rising, both in the negative there. Colossal China as well. Uh, do the right thing, up 6.85%. That's one of the better investments so far. Wireless Wonders in the negative. And it should be mentioned as well, most of these were purchased about a week ago or so. And there has been a little bit of a pullback in the market. So that's accounting for the negative return on some of these stocks. Otherwise, the market's been very, very good. And for the most part, all of these stocks have performed very, very well over the last one year time span. So the stocks that are on here, again, the one stock, Berkshire Hathaway Class B, as well as the other ETFs, are quality products. Uh, they're quality investments. However, a few of these have been in the negative here. Of note, retail therapy, 2.1% percent in the red so yeah so far so good with the portfolio again simply testing out the different available investment options with the portfolio what I thought I might do moving forward is take this money out of the stash invest application put it into Robinhood and then just buy one share of each of these particular investments I think that's probably the wiser thing to do but again the other big advantage of stash invest is especially for investors who don't have a lot of money is you can buy fractional shares you can see, for example, aggressive mixer. I have $25 invested. It's currently $25.46 with a 1.84% return. But if we take a look at the underlying security, again, all the names here are simply rebranded ETFs that you can find on Robinhood. Uh, this particular ETF is the iShares Core Growth Allocation ETF, ticker uh, AOR. You can see entire share is $43.66. Well, I only put uh, a fraction of that in, about half of that uh, value in, but I still was able to purchase that share. On Robinhood, you can't do that. You have to buy the entire share. And a, a few of these are over $100, so I'm able to do that, but uh, new investors who don't have a lot of capital, I still think the Stash Invest application has its merits. Again, the fee is definitely a big negative with this particular application, but I think to get kind of used to uh, investing and just holding some of these stocks and kind of watching the market, I think it's fine. But over the long term, I would definitely move your capital from this particular application into Robinhood. So again, just wanted to quickly jump into the portfolio. I'm just kind of scrolling through the uh, investment options very slowly here so you guys can get a sense of how the uh, ETFs in that one stock are doing. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the majority of these stocks over the last year are in the green. All of them are in the green. I think it's except retail therapy. And since I've held the stocks, you can see here, there are a few in the green, clean and green. As I mentioned, retail therapy is in the green as well. And again, all of these are underlying or have underlying ETFs with their particular name. For example, Roll with Buffett here is simply the one stock on the application here. You can see that in the middle, investment name, Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated Class B stock. And you can see they're $170.55 for a complete share, but I don't have a complete share. I just bought a fractional share. 
So yeah, just wanted to quickly jump into the Stash Invest portfolio to update you guys on the performance. Uh, kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any good video ideas, let me know as well. And until next video, we'll see you then.